Okay, so this is a quick tutorial to get you set up uh, running Fortran on your uh, PC. Uh, so if you're using PC, uh, this middle section is the one that applies to you. Uh, you want to click on this link that says quatramaran dot dot ens dot fr and you want to go down to Fortran uh, Windows and click this executable here when it says save files you want to go ahead and click save file there and after that finished finishes downloading you want to double click that it's going to tell you, it's going to warn you that it's an executable file and that it may contain viruses. But I think we can trust this website. So the inst installator, inst uh, the installer pops up and you agree to the, the general public license. And it's going to uh, give you a default directory to install to G4Tran. You go ahead and keep that uh, default. Click install. and that's going to take a minute to install so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it's going to take several minutes to install okay so it says that your installation is complete you click close there okay, I'm going to close this and um, I'm going to bring up a command prompt so we so we go click start click run and then we type cmd there in the space where it says open and click ok so that gives us a command prompt and uh... let's uh... just cd backslash okay. so uh... we want to test our compiler to see if it, it if it runs um, so the the command so the compiler is G for Tran. Okay. And if it's installed, it should give us an error that says uh, no input files. Um, uh, compilation terminated. Uh, and that's going to be okay because we haven't given it a file. We haven't given it a source file a Fortran. We haven't written any Fortran uh, file for it to, um, uh, to compile. So I'm going to click enter here and just as it says no input files now if you don't get that um, that's probably because uh, uh, there's you don't have a path to your um, to your uh, to the to the directory or subdirectory where uh, the G Fortran executable uh, is sitting so what you want to do is add uh, a set path uh, command to your um, autoexec.bat and um, I've done that here I'm going to say uh, edit autoexec.bat and show you that I've done that here so so the command is the line is set space path equals C colon backslash forward I mean backslash program <coughs> uh, space files backslash g fortran backslash bin and so once you uh, have that in there uh, whenever you execute g fortran from any subdirectory uh, it should find the uh, executable and compile your code okay so um, if you follow these directions step by step successfully you should have fortran installed on your PC.